Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I just want to start off by saying I'm deciding to film this little intro video um, before I show you guys the video that I'm going to paste, the segment that I'm going to paste right after this. And this part of the video is filmed the day after. So what comes after this was filmed yesterday and this is the very next day. And um, basically, um, I've been having some extremely bad skincare problems. And I know that it does not come across on camera, which is why I wanted to film this part of the video first to kind of show you guys how well makeup can cover what's going on underneath. Um, I have a lot of makeup on my chest right now. I have tons of makeup on my face right now. And I look normal. I look human. I don't look like an alien or like I have a diseased face. Um, but I definitely don't wake up looking like this and it's very bad. It's very, very bad. And it has taken an extreme emotional toll on me. And um, I just wanted to film this because I didn't want to scare you guys. What I'm going to show you guys that I filmed yesterday is very emotional. I want to let you guys know that I'm okay. I definitely do break down here and there because of my skin. Um, don't get me wrong. I do. But I'm okay. I... I don't even want to tell you guys that I'm, that I, like, I'm not in a depression because it does make me feel half the time in a depression. Um, but I'm not going to do anything crazy and I'm alright. Even though the next part of the video is extremely emotional, I want to let you guys know that I'm okay. Um, I hope this is going to be a solution to the problem. And um, I just wanted to kind of come on here and kind of give you guys a warning that I'm crying on camera. and it's bad and show you guys because I know a lot of you guys are gonna say but oh but what the heck like you never look like that in your videos yeah you guys can see this is me the very next day with a ton of makeup yeah I can cover it up with makeup but um every morning when I wake up it's a very different story and this takes a very long time to cover everything like this um, so here you guys can see this is covered yes I know it looks almost flawless um, but with that being said I'm gonna roll a clip and show you guys what it looks like in the morning when I wake up and um, explain to you guys what's about to happen. So thank you guys for watching and take this video with a grain of salt. It's a very difficult topic for me to talk about. I hope that there's not too much judgment. I know a lot of people say it's just acne, it's just skin, it's not that serious. I understand. I don't have cancer, I'm healthy, but um, it really shoots down my confidence. I don't feel comfortable in my own skin and that's something that's a very horrible feeling. I just want to feel comfortable whether I have makeup on, whether I don't have makeup on. I just want to feel like myself. I want to feel the way that I feel on the inside. So it's a very emotional subject for me. So um, thank you guys for watching and please stay tuned. Hey guys, so all right, a lot of things we have to address right off the bat here. Um, I just got out of the shower, no makeup on, wet hair, and um, let's look at this face. Um, oh, I want to try really hard not to get emotional for this video. And like, hold on. <laughs> I actually um, just had a breakdown like this morning um, after getting out of the shower and had a, a breakdown last night and had a breakdown yesterday morning um obviously because of my skin okay I've never seen my skin look like this in my life and the thing is um I'm not even really stressed anymore I'm very busy I just moved into a new place obviously and um I'm busy I have a lot of work that I'm doing but I'm not stressed the most horrible month of my entire life was last December um, it was a really bad one, but it's been a while and I hear that stress takes a while to show on your face It takes you know four weeks, but four weeks came and went and um, my skin is going crazy and it's getting progressively worse and worse and the thing is that Not only am I breaking out on my face like this I'm also breaking out my chest and um, I can't even really show you guys but I'm breaking out extremely horribly on my um, on my back as well. And it's taking over my body. It's extremely emotional for me because, you know, like I feel like when I talk to people, they're looking at my skin and not really myself. 
me, my face, my eyes. And, um, you know, I wake up in the morning and I just want to put my makeup on because I can't stand to look at myself like this. And I have no desire to work to film tutorials because I'm so embarrassed and because I get so many questions about it that I'm like, yeah, I know. I know, I know my skin is going crazy and I don't know why. Um, and the whole stress thing, I'm not stressed anymore. So I'm like, <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I've been stressed. So I don't understand. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm in such a good place in my life and I don't understand why this is happening. It's like I've just gone through something horrible in my life. You know, a 10 year relationship, marriage ending. Um, and it's like, so that's not enough. Now I have to go through this too. Like, I don't even feel like a freaking human. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me calm down. Okay. So this is like vlog style. I normally don't do this on my main channel, my beauty channel. But um, this is beauty related. And I know, I know that I'm not the only one. Um, so I've tried so many different things in my life. I've tried, um, so many prescriptions behind the counter, over the counter, um, at least I would say about 10 prescription strength, um, creams, antibiotics, um, chemical peels, laser, everything. I've tried, um, the acne.org system, which is the best that I have tried, but obviously it's not working a hundred percent. Um, salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, like sulfur, you name it, black soap, everything, everything, everything. And, um, I can take rid of, I can get rid of the scarring with my derma roller. Um, but <laughs> you can't do the derma roller over ac active acne. And obviously my face is taken over by active acne. So I can't even address the scarring. Um, so anyway, I made an appointment. Okay, like two days ago to go to the doctor and I'm hoping and praying that they are going to give me Accutane because I'm kind of just like desperate and I know that it's like, um, oh my God, I'm so sorry guys. Like I'm crying like crazy and look crazy, but this is such an emotional thing for me because I'm not used to, like I'm looking in the viewfinder. I'm just not used to seeing myself look like this and I'm just like, I just hope this is not how I'm going to look for the rest of my life. So, um. I wanted to document it because I know that I'm not the only one. And um and hopefully the doctor will give it to me, will prescribe it to me. I have an older sister that has gone on it with a very good results. So um I'm hoping that it will work for me the same way that it works it worked for her. And I'm hoping that um that they don't give me a hard time because I know that it's really hard to get because it it's you know like um, a, a dangerous, a lot of side effects. Um, but like at this point, I, I don't care. I'm willing to risk whatever because I'm waking up depressed every single day. I don't want to leave the house. So let's give you guys, okay. Let, let's clean off my friggin' tears. Holy crap. Like I'm disgusting right now. <laughs> it's just making me not want to live my life. Like summer is coming up. And it's getting nicer out and I'm like, yo, I don't even care because not only my face, but like my back, my chest, like I don't want to wear dresses and stuff like this is getting in the way of me living my life. So I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Um, I normally would not do this, but whatever. I'm gonna give you guys a close up and um, I'll let you guys know what happens after I go to the doctor. So um, here's the side of my face. I wake up with these white heads like every single day I wake up with like six or seven more. And if I pop them, um, it's really hard to cover in makeup. I even have it here underneath. I wake up with a lot in between my um, eyebrows. And here's the other side of my face. Um, and my chest is not as bad right now. And my back looks like this. This is what my back looks like. So, I'm sorry guys. I know that you've never seen me like this, but... This is something that's making me extremely depressed. I don't feel confident at all. I don't feel like myself. And I just want to wake up and put makeup on every day to get rid of this so I don't have to look at myself in the mirror looking like this. And I'm just like, wow. This happened like overnight. I haven't changed anything in my diet. Anything makeup related. Anything skincare related. Everything has been constant. Everything. 
So I know it's stress doing this to me, but or hormones. I even went on birth control to try and control it, and um, nothing's working. So I'm sorry, guys. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this up. To be honest, let's see. Let's see if I get the prescription, and let's hope and pray that it works. Um, so yeah, guys. I'll talk to you in a little while. All right, guys. So I'm back home, and I'm a lot more calm now. Um, I normally would have absolutely no problem going out without makeup, but today was pretty rough because obviously I feel like I don't look like a human. <laughs> um, but the office was really, really nice. And um, basically the minute that I saw the doctor, he, and again, this is just like the LASIK. I'm not working with this doctor. I didn't even tell him anything about my YouTube. Um, so I don't want you guys to think that this is sponsored. Um, but anyway, the minute I saw the doctor, he's like right away, Accutane. He's like, you're the perfect candidate. I showed him my chest. I showed him my back. I showed him a list of all of the medications that I have tried. Um, and yeah, he was like, definitely if you told me that this was your first time at a dermatologist's office and you never tried a prescription, I would want you to try a few. But um, since you've tried all of this and nothing has worked, I want to go straight to the Accutane. And he says that I will see amazing results. He thinks that I will be on it for about six to seven months. Um, so anyway, the first step was drawing blood. They have to make sure that I'm not pregnant because it's like a very, very high pregnancy um, deformity risk. That was even English. Um, and uh, so what they did they, is they drew my blood. I have to wait one month from now, which sucks, and then get another blood pregnancy test. And as long as that, the both of them, you have to get two of them, not even one, two of them. Um, and if the second one is also negative, then we should be good to go and I can start it that day. So that's the ninth of next month. So I have to wait an entire month, which is a bummer. It sucks because if I was a guy, I would be able to walk out with the prescription that day. But since I'm a female, they wanted they want you to go through two pregnancy tests. So today and a month from now. So I have to kind of wait it out until a month from now. And um, as long as I'm not pregnant, I can start then. And um, basically, he said that once every single month, I will have to come in to take another pregnancy test or blood test. And they're going to run, you know, to make sure the triglycerides and your lipid levels and all the stuff that could go wrong since it is a high risk medication. Um, basically, they run your test once a month before you get your new pack. And um, so, yeah, right now I don't have anything. I didn't walk out of the office with anything um, except hope that in one month from now I will be able to start. And um, yeah, I want to share the entire journey with you guys. It's a very emotional one. I know a lot of people are going to say you're crazy. Like, it's not like you have cancer or something horrible that you're crying like this over but it's an emotional thing it is because I tried to stop at Marshall's after this and like I was embarrassed because of my skin and it's like it is a very emotional thing I feel like like look guys come on like this is my face this is my face it's an emotional thing so and I know a lot of people are going to say the risks are not worth it but for me it is because I'm very depressed and it's it's getting in the way of me living my life I'm not looking forward to summer I don't want to see family and friends I don't want to see anyone and uh, everyone has been really supportive my family uh, Mike has been amazing I was crying on his shoulder last night like pretty hysterical just because I'm embarrassed and it hurts like it, it physically hurts my the ones on my back hurt really bad and then the night before I broke down in front of my sister Melanie and she was amazing because she knows what it feels like she went through a skin problem and um she was very supportive as well and then I called my older sister Des who has been on Accutane herself about seven years ago and she still has amazing beautiful skin ever since going through her six month trial so the doctor said that hopefully i will only have to go through one six month run some people have to do a second run um but basically we have to track the progress and see how i do and um he said he doesn't even want to put me on any other prescriptions he said no this is what you need this is going to take care of it he gave me a lot of hope so um, that's it guys, this video, I'm sorry that if it was anticlimactic because it's not like I have the pills here and I'm like, I'm gonna start. But in one month from now, I will be back. I'm gonna do like a Accutane journey, I think. If you guys like the idea of that, please thumbs up this video and let me know down below. Let me know if you've been on Accutane yourself. Um, don't try to talk me out of it because I'm gonna do it. I know the risk involved. I had to sign a lot of contracts understanding the risks and um, it's worth it to me. It's worth the risk. And that's what it is. So don't try to scare me. I know it's high risk. I'm fully aware of what I'm going into and it's worth it to me because 
need I say any more? So anyway, you guys, um, yeah, this is not normally the type of video I put on this channel, this vlog style. If you like these type of videos, um, go subscribe to my vlog channel because I do videos like this all the time on my vlog, except I'm normally not hysterically crying. And uh, mm. I'm just going to end this video because honestly, like if I stare at myself in the viewfinder more, it's, it's tough. Even knowing that I have to deal with this for one more month when the weather is getting nice. It's tough. It's taking a toll on me emotionally, very much so. So anyway, you guys, that's the update. Let's see what happens in a month from now. Um, keep in touch with me on my vlog channel, on Instagram, on Facebook. If you guys ever want to ask me any questions about the journey or anything, you can always reach me there. So, Or in the comments right here. So I love you guys. Wish me luck. I'm excited. I have hope. One more month of putting up with this. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. And um, I'm excited to get started. So... Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.